All right, let's figure out 5 eighths minus 3 sixteenths. So how do you do that? Whenever we're subtracting fractions or adding fractions, we need to get a common denominator. That's the number here on the bottom. If we have the same denominator, then we just deal with the numerator, keep that the same, then keep that same common denominator, and we got it. So I know that 2 times 8, that equals 16. That would give me 16 for both of these. But I can't just multiply the denominator by 2. I do need to multiply the numerator by 2 as well. Because 2 over 2, that's 1. So 1 times 5 eighths, it's still 5 eighths. But now we have 2 times 5, that gives us 10. 2 times 8 gives us 16. So now we have that 16. Subtract 3 sixteenths there, same denominator. So 10 minus 3 is 7. And then you keep the denominator the same, 7 sixteenths. So 5 eighths minus 3 sixteenths, that equals 7 sixteenths. It's Dr. V. Thanks for watching.